What is the best water bottle for hiking? Hydroflask vs. Clean Canteen vs. Nalgene. With so many water bottle options available, you might be asking which one is the best for hiking. Here, we'll review our favorites and let you know our recommendations. And as always, be safe out there. We highly recommend checking out our previous post that discusses hydration safety to make sure you're bringing enough water. Link is in the description. Today, we're focusing on short hikes between one to three hours in length. For these length hikes, a large water bottle is usually enough to keep you hydrated. If you're looking for a full day or multi-day hydration solution, that's when you start getting into bladder packs and filtration systems. We'll cover those in a future post. Now on to our recommendations. When it comes to the bottle brand, we love the classics. Nalgene's, Clean Canteen's, and Hydroflasks. These happen to be three of the more popular water bottle brands for outdoor enthusiasts and for good reason. There are tons of other great brands of bottles out there, including Yetis, Takeyas, and Camelbacks to name a few, but for the sake of time, we're limiting our review to Nalgene's, Clean Canteens, and Hydroflasks, because each one marked a new milestone in hydration gear for hiking. Nalgene's are the original reusable water bottles that focused on outdoor recreation, and they're still a great option today. Pros, they are inexpensive, usually costing between $10 and $20. They are lightweight, they are extremely durable and dent resistant, even more so than the next bottles we'll talk about. And there are also plenty of color options to choose from, so you can surely find something that matches your style. Cons, the main downside is that Nalgene's are not insulated. There's also no carrying handle built into standard Nalgene wide mouth bottles, you can use the lid tether, but it's not exactly comfortable and isn't centered. What about BPAs? BPAs, or bisphenol A, are chemicals that have been linked to certain health issues. We're not medical experts, so we'll refer to the Mayo Clinic on this one, but there was a lot of press about BPAs in Nalgene water bottles in the early 2000s. They changed their manufacturing formulas in 2008 to make sure their bottles are all BPA free, so you should be good to go now. Overall, we recommend getting a Nalgene if you're trying to limit your spending or are very focused on carrying as little weight as possible. Even though they're not the premium option on this list, they're still great bottles that will help keep you hydrated for many years. They're also made in the USA if that influences your buying decision. Clean Canteen started around 2004 and was one of the first stainless steel bottle brands that focused on hiking and outdoor recreation. Pros. Clean canteens tend to be in the middle ground on prices. The non-insulated bottles are generally between $18 and $35. All of their bottles are plastic free other than the lid, so if that's a priority for you, then clean canteens are a great option. The stainless steel is very durable. That being said, if you drop your bottle, don't be surprised if you get a ding or dent in the metal that you won't be able to fix. It also has a built-in handle. Cons. One downside of any stainless steel bottle versus plastic is that these bottles are heavier. But for shorter hikes, this isn't as big of an issue. The classic design is not insulated. Some people say that the cap handle isn't that great because it's a little more difficult to unscrew and isn't a great carrying handle. There are not many color options, so if you're looking to get a unique color to help your bottle stand out, you might want to consider a different brand. And as mentioned above, these bottles dent fairly easily if dropped. It'll still work, it just won't look as good as it did. To sum it up, we recommend getting a clean canteen if you want to avoid drinking out of a plastic bottle, but still want to be cost conscious. Just remember that Clean Canteen has a mix of insulated and non-insulated bottles now, so make sure you pay attention when buying to make sure you're getting what you want. Hydroflask is arguably the most popular water bottle on the planet in 2022. Pros. All Hydroflasks are insulated. Just add some ice and that should keep your drink cool throughout your short hike. They're plastic free other than the lid. Because they're stainless steel, they're very durable bottles. But like with clean canteens, if you drop your bottle, don't be surprised if it dents. We like the handle more than the classic clean canteen style. And like with Nalgene's, there are plenty of color options to choose from, so you should be able to find something that fits your style. The powder coat paint feels and looks great, and it holds up really well over time as long as you don't get a severe dent or scrape. Cons. 
The main downside to Hydra flasks are that they are the most expensive of the three bottle brands mentioned so far. The cheapest options usually start around $25 and the 40 ounce bottles are currently around $50 to $55. Hydra flasks are heavier than either Nalgene's or non-insulated clean canteens, so if carrying as little weight as possible is your priority, then you may want to look elsewhere. Or consider looking at Hydra Flask's more recent Trail Series bottles that are lighter than their classic design. As mentioned, your bottle can dent easily if you drop it. We recommend getting a Hydra Flask if you want your drink to stay cool throughout your hike and if you want to get a specific color that fits your style. But at the same time, we realize Hydra Flasks are expensive and some of the cost you pay is just for the logo on the front. Many people argue that you can get a better deal and more cap options with similar brands like Iron Flask, Thermoflask, or Takea, and they're not necessarily wrong. But if you decide to invest in a Hydra Flask, we doubt you'll be disappointed and you'll have a fantastic bottle that you can reuse for many years. With any of these three bottle brands, we recommend also buying a carrying sling for hands-free hiking with your big bottle. At Bottle Pro, we have a couple options available, but there are plenty of other options to choose from in today's market. Here are a few to consider, and be sure to double check the listings to make sure you're getting the right size for your bottle. Bottle Pro's Neoprene Sling. This inexpensive option is great for short hikes and keeps your bottle well protected. Wild Wolf Outfitters 40 ounce Sling. This is a good all around and cost effective pouch to keep your bottle protected, and it comes with quite a bit of storage space for your phone, keys, or other items. Bottle Pro's Hiker Pouch, our leather option. It's a little on the expensive end, but it's made with quality leather and includes a pocket for your phone and several D-rings along the rim for multiple ways to clip it onto your bag. We also include leather conditioner to help keep your pouch in good shape. Hydro Flask Slings. They're lightweight and packable, which is great to offset the weight of the bottle. Like all things Hydro Flask, expect to pay a little more for the logo, but it's still a great product and can help keep your Hydro Flask protected and easier to hike with. Don't forget to check out BottlePro.net for accessories to make your large bottles like Hydro Flasks more fun and easier to use. Thanks for watching and happy hydrating.